A special Labor Day edition of In the Know. In a moment, meteorologist Rhythm Reet will join us. But meteorological summer is now over. And take a look at some of the beautiful scenes we've still been able to enjoy in recent days. This in Algonquin Park. The pup is not working too hard on the rowing but still enjoying the ride. Now, take a look at this as we head to Newfoundland. Some beautiful colors on the horizon. This is the kind of thing summer has treated us to, and it always has beautiful sunny skies here in Vancouver as well. So this is some of the summer weather we're gradually going to have to sort of start waving goodbye to, but we're not ready to wave goodbye just yet. In fact, Rhythm, we want to kind of take a look back at some of the fascinating weather storylines that summer did bring. Now, we saw quite a bit of heat in western Canada and wildfire activity. Now, Rhythm in the east, rainfall seemed like it was a big factor this summer. Absolutely, Matt. When we take a look at back at some of the stats, Toronto had its rainiest summer on record, uh, surpassing 500 millimeters of rainfall. Similarly, Kentville as well in Nova Scotia, that this was their rainiest July. And when we take a look back into August 8th and 9th, Montreal, you officially broke your record for the rainiest day. Additionally, you also had your rainiest um, uh, summer on record. So some of the records that were broken rhythm, it certainly was something that it was hard to not notice. But I think a question that maybe remains in some people's minds when we had events like this in the city of Toronto, why? Why did we break all these records? Can you help uh, guide us there? Absolutely, Matt. Well, it was the hot ocean temperatures playing a very important role. We've been talking about the Gulf being well above seasonal. That causes that highly precipital water. But that flooding, that was due to what we have is called no steering float. So in no trough, we didn't have a trough to really knock a lot of that moisture out a lot of the time. So what we ended up seeing were those training thunderstorms that led to so much flooding across regions of southern Ontario, but other areas like Montreal, Montreal, that was all of that moisture coming up from the remnants of Ernesto, Debbie, as well as Barrel. So it was a lot of different factors playing a role, but the key component was those warmer sea surface temperatures. The rhythm in the West, we know, of course, the wildfire in Jasper was a big story that made national headlines. There was certainly quite a bit of heat and dry conditions to fuel this kind of activity. So, of course, as I mentioned, this was a major summer story, the fire and evacuation in Jasper, but Rhythm, other parts of Alberta wasn't just wildfires that was bringing the notable activity. We saw some stormy weather in areas like Calgary as well. And that was that hail on August 5th. We saw that cell just north of Calgary pushing on through. And we take a look at some of that damage. Quite profound. They ended up seeing windows shattered. This is a house that kind of shows that depiction of it. But Matt, when we talk about those temperatures, let's bring it back. Those temperatures were a key component right across the West. Taking a look at summer 2024 temperature anomalies. Towards northern Canada, we had some records being broken. And down towards southern ends of British Columbia, it was a prolonged period of warm temperatures. So one place I want to highlight Kelowna, they saw 39 days of temperatures above 30 degrees. And partially we saw a few records being broken due to the heat dome that was over California in July. That caused us to see 18 days in a place like Soyuz where the city saw temperatures above 35 degrees. And that was a new Canadian record. Now I'm going to go back Matt to the North Northern Canada. This was on August 6th and 9th, and we see a lot of these all time records and these August records being broken. A place like Fort Good Hope got up to 37 degrees. That was quite profound. Yes, yeah, so a lot happened. Thank you for the walk through that summer rhythm.